Hello, this is Christopher, and today I have a quick little Final Cut Pro X tip here that has to do with background rendering. A lot of people don't realize that you can turn background rendering off in Final Cut Pro. Um, you can turn this off and then do like selective rendering if you choose to do that. And it's really helpful if you have an older Mac and say like an older or a slower processor, so like an i3 or something, to where when it's doing background processing and you're continuing to work in Final Cut Pro, sometimes you will get uh, a beach ball, you know, on OS X or whatever. So this may help that a little bit. Um, I know with my, I have a 2010 MacBook, white MacBook, and I don't really use it that much. Uh, the processor in that, I believe, is a Core 2 Duo. So I don't really use Final Cut Pro on it, but every now and then I'll have to if I'm, you know, somewhere traveling and have my uh, MacBook with me and need to, you know, do a little edit or I'm away from my iMac and do it on my MacBook. So um, I'll turn background rendering off on my MacBook to you know, ease up on the beach ball so much um, when I'm using it. But enough rambling on, so let me get here, let me show you. So up here in the menu bar where it says Final Cut Pro, so just click on that and click Preferences. Then you'll want to click the Playback tab right here, and you'll notice on my iMac right now, I have background rendering off, and you can turn that on or off. And how you know the background rendering is done is you'll notice here I have the little orange bar if that renders, then that bar will disappear. And also right here, you have the 100%. That means all clips have rendered already. So um, I, now since I have background rendering off, this little section here um, is still not rendered yet. So then I can just do highlight this clip, and then I can just do a quick little Control R, and it will render that clip. If I want to render all my clips, then I can do Shift Control R, and that will do everything. And I'll just do that really fast. And you'll notice that the orange bar is disappearing. And you'll notice here that it's counting the percentage while the clip renders. And that was just a simple shift R to render just that little section of clips. Now, I personally find background rendering to be very, very helpful. Um, you know, especially on my iMac, I'm getting a lot of work done and, you know, it's just rendering in the background and I don't, you know, even have to pay attention to it and close this. And, you know, another quick little tip here, you can always tap on the percentage sign right here and it'll open up your background task window, as you can see right there. So you can just click on that and it opens it up. If you want to see the percentage as well up there, it'll show what it's rendering right there in the uh, little menu box. But um, all right, thank you for watching. Remember, you can find more of my Final Cut Pro tips here on my YouTube channel, but you can also find me at crizzo.net. That's C R I Z Z O dot N E T. Thank you and have a terrific day.